Hello everyone, welcome back to my Greg Tech News Horizons playthrough. Uh, in the last episode, we got up to our Coke oven. We now have a bunch of charcoal. Um, I think this time we're getting into ores, right? Blah, blah, blah. Yes. So, um, yeah, so ore generation is kind of interesting this pack. It doesn't work just how vanilla works. Um, you have, like, or veins that are large and span chunks. Pressing the F9 key three times will tell you the blue lines are the middle of the um, or or um, chunk kind of thing. Then there's this show GT or veins thing. And I accidentally found this coal one just while I was mining or while I was uh, planting crops and stuff. And yeah, so. I think I'm going to go around prospecting a little bit. Basically, you just dig down. Um, dig down deep in the world. Until you find ores. Right-click the ores, I think. And uh, that's how you find out what ores you got around. So, I'm going to be doing that around the base. Finding as many ore veins as possible. And then we will be back. All right, so this one right next to my base is magnetite, which is iron, gold, and vanadium magnetite, which is like a uh, harder to process iron, I think. So, oh, my pickaxe broke. Nice. Um, but I'm pretty sure this is iron here. So that's a good one to have near base. Um, let me get some torches and let's start mining this chunk out because I think iron is like the first one we need. And real quick, between episodes, I did do some exploring. Uh, you can't see it in this section. Let's see where it is. There we go. I did a bunch of exploring. Found a few villages, one there, one there, uh, one in the desert here. And I, you know, this is kind of what I found during that trip. Um, a lot of junk, but some also good stuff like um, some armor. That'd be nice. A bunch of stuff for um, a Tinker's Smeltery, which will be nice when I get into that kind of thing. Um, yeah, so I'm going to sort all this stuff. And, uh, oh, I just got my first bees. Um, which, if you know me, you know I like my bees, so. Um, yeah. That'll be something I won't do too much on camera, but I will be doing and updating you throughout the process. Anyway, let's get to mining that iron vein. Alright, so I've come to realize I can't mine this with the pickaxe I have, so I do have to do this quest submitting four stacks of cobblestone to get my iron pickaxe head. Um, which really won't be a problem. Also, um, monster spawning caves. That's a important thing everyone should know. Um, so let's get my, uh, four stacks of cobblestone, submit it, and then switch out this pickaxe head for an iron one. That way I can actually mine the iron and the gold. All right. There's that. Um, I think I'll go for the axe head. And then we go ahead and repair this with our flint. Then we put the other pickaxe set on it. And now we can mine the magnetite. Which, let me make sure I'm right with that it is iron. Yes. All right, cool. I'll be here mining out this chunk for a while. Um, copper, tin, aluminum. I got that already. It's pretty nice. Um, options are finding aluminum, ore berries, searching for aluminum bars and okay anyway um yeah we're gonna continue with getting our magnetite and uh yeah getting a bunch of iron because so we need basically at least a stack and a half to get a good start on the pack so i'll be back when i have a good section of this or chunk mined out All right, there we have our iron. Ooh, we're gonna get our tools. All right, so we need a hammer, a wrench, a file, a screwdriver, and a saw. Just go ahead and save all those to our bar over here. All right, hammer. It's gonna be iron like that with a stick. Wrench is going to be using that. We'll go ahead and make that. Uh, file, I believe, is two iron plates. 
on top of a stick. Screwdriver. Um, okay. So I think it's file with these. And I need more sticks. And I think it's like this, maybe? Hammer and file. File and hammer, yes. Screwdriver. And then we have a saw, which is going to be a saw blade, which is going to take a file with two iron ingots, I think. Uh, maybe with two iron plates. Like so? No. Okay. I mean, I'm going to use those iron plates anyway, so. Um, let's see. File. Shaped crafting. Okay, maybe I need to find the iron saw then. Because that might be a different recipe somehow. I see. Okay, so I was right. Kind of. There we go. And now we have our saw. Awesome. And now we can get on to making a bunch of other things. Um, including our lunchbox. That's going to be a priority. So I don't think any of these are going to be main quest lines. Um, but I think the copper and tin is the next direction we have to go. Because I think that to get to do the steam age, um, you have to have bronze. So I need to go find a copper vein and a tin vein. Okay, so tin seems like it's going to be harder to get than uh, the copper was. So I might have to make this divining rod or whatever it's called. Uh, or finder wand. Um, looks pretty simple. Just a bunch of tools, crafting recipes. I don't have redstone yet, so I can't make this yet, actually. So that is... Where am I looking? Uh, I want this one. Um, yeah, so I need redstone first. So I better go find a redstone vein. Uh, I found some veins. Um, some of these have been interrupted by this roguelite dungeon, which I am now realizing this is another roguelite dungeon, this is another roguelite dungeon, because I've found, I found a bunch while exploring the world. Um, so I'll get to those eventually, probably. Probably starting with this one. Um, but yeah, the problem is we were digging straight into a roguelite dungeon in both of these areas, so. I'm gonna go try to find redstone or tin. Probably redstone first, I bet. And, uh, then I'll make this... This um, ore finding wand. I'll get this cassiterite sand because um, that's tin. And then I will go from there. Alright, so I found tin before I found redstone. Um, so I'm going to have to find redstone between episodes. But let's keep progressing with this episode by making 32 bronze dust. Which will be a whole bunch of this stuff. Um, let's see. 32. So basically need 33 copper. And 11 tin. And one of these. And we're going to need another one of these because it's going to break. And we're going to smell some more stone. Um... We can wait for that for a minute. All right, that like that, and that. Oh, he's only craft. Oh, I thought they only crafted sixteen at a time. All right, cool. There's a bronze dust. Now we do need to wait to smelt the bronze ingots. Um, which of course we're going to have to do. Uh. I have found some malachite. I've obviously found copper. What else can we be working on? Uh, oh, we could be working on this. I, I did a bunch of food quests because I've been exploring and so I needed food. Um, but I did all the simple ones. None of them that required any of the kitchenware. So let's go ahead and make all these things. Uh, I think rolling pin is actually a quest reward for one of these. Yes, we're going to take that. Actually. Hmm. Mortar with 51. Mm. 
that's only five times the amount that this mortar has. And rolling pins. Oh, they're actually really easy to make. Hmm. And we'll just take the rolling pin. So that completes that part. Uh, and then also we're gonna need a mixing bowl and a skillet. All right. I'm gonna craft a bunch of these things, and then uh, we'll be back again. Oh, also, I'm gonna change this crafting table into crafting station, because then it can look at the chest next to it. So I don't have to keep all these tools on me. However, I am gonna move it over here with some new chest. Do I have chest in here still? Yes. Um, because that way I can just put all my crafting ingredients in here and not worry about it. Okay, now with our kitchenware, we can make a bunch of food. Ooh, hearty breakfast. That is a good early game food, um, which takes eggs and toast and juice, which toast and juice super easy to make. Eggs. Hmm. We probably want to make a chicken farm to be able to farm the eggs. So, do I have any eggs anywhere? I have one. Yeah, I have one. Um. Okay. I think you can buy eggs from the shop. Indeed. Um. First, I need to claim a bunch of quests. Let's just go ahead and claim all these real quick. And that gives us enough, enough coins to get our eggs. And we're going to use these to immediately make a chicken farm. Um, which will take a hopper, which I believe I found in my explorations, but I believe I can make now. That's not what I want to click. I want to click R, not T. Um, yeah, that's all doable. So, right, iron gear. Yeah, so I could make them, but... For now, we're just going to stick with that, uh, and then we're going to get a bit of carpet to put on top of the hopper to make sure the chickens don't fall into it. All right, let's go make a small chicken coop somewhere. Okay, the interesting thing about the lunchbox is it takes double iron plates. I was just looking at that, um, which, like, that's not a problem. I can easily get iron. I just noticed that. Let's get... Oh, it's actually not that recipe. It's like this. And there's our lunchbox. Which will save us one inventory spot. Because I made an extra um, lunch bag. Because that saved us a couple of inventory spots, you know? Um, although... They are current, oh, they're not currently both full. But the fact that we have this means we need to eat. Alright. For now, we're going to have uh, one lunch bag still because can't fit all this in our lunchbox. Oh, well, we could just leave the potato on a stick out of the lunchbox for now. I don't know. I'm not really thinking before hit and record. Anyway, um, there we go. Cool. Some more stone for next time we need to make um, our mortars. Cooking up some iron. Cooking the ingots in this chest because it's kind of the crafting ingredients chest. This is like the raw minerals. Uh, I guess we could move the bronze over there. Um, I'm not using nickel or electrical steel yet. Eh, for putting ingots over here, might as well. Anyway, um, I'm going to keep sorting things and waiting for those chickens to grow up. And I might make a cactus farm real quick too so it can be going between episodes. Because right now it's a manual cactus farm and I'd rather just have a nice automatic one so i'll be back once i have a bunch of stuff being worked on or being done okay so while i was building that cactus farm over there um we've got a few chickens in here that are grown up that have given us our four eggs uh and i will actually actually also show you the design i've used for the cactus farm which is just like that so pop off, and then every layer basically has 16 cactus with the hole in the middle. It drops down to the bottom. And at the bottom, once I get down there, 
we just have a hopper that picks up and puts in here. Uh, I probably could make a staircase down and add another layer here. Which might be smart, but I already have overstack. And I'm probably getting them at a faster rate than I'm going to be using water for the most part. Uh, so, I think I'll be alright. Is that not... Oh, I need bread eggs. Okay. Just one more step towards there. Potato cakes. Need onions, which means I probably need to grow onions. Where do onions come from? Ground gardens, which I don't think I have any of. I do have some. Oh, I only have two. Um, okay, I'm going to have to go find some more ground gardens. Or find a way to get onion seeds otherwise. Um... Seed bag. Hmm. Okay. Well, I will find... Uh, some onion. Well, let's see if this gives me onions first. There's an onion. Sweet. Alright. So we'll just grow some onions over at our farm up there. And, uh... That'll be the next step in getting this done. Um, butter. It's gonna be easy. Just milk and salt, which is just water, I believe. Yes. Um, so that'll be easy. And then I think the hearty breakfast is just... Uh, yeah, just the fried egg, the potato chips, the toast, and any kind of juice. Which, we've all made, we've already made all that so far. Um, so next episode, I'll probably have some actual good food. Which will be great to have. Um, yeah, I'll keep the onion seeds to run me on that. But first, let's go ahead and finish out chapter 0. Point, or tier 0 by making a coal boiler. And here we have our small coal boiler, which is, in fact, the first machine I have made in this pack. Um, large bronze fluid pipes. You know, they're probably going to be useful. I will also make a bunch of them real quick. Because, like I said, they'll hopefully be useful, right? Um, okay, I'll make one of them, I guess. That's fine, because basically we get our bronze back if we want. Uh, I will, between episode, between this episode and the next episode, I will be going through all of our quests that I have not claimed and deciding what I'm going to claim. Um, looks like this one comes with some small bronze loot pipes. I might not use loot bags. I don't know if I like them. I'm probably just gonna, I probably just hoard them until I end up um, having a fortune three, and at which point I probably don't need any of the early game ones. So I don't know. Uh, anyway. Next episode, we can get into the Steam Age, um, which I'm excited about because I really don't know um, much of like what happens from here on out. I haven't played this far then. So thanks for watching. If you liked, hit the like button down below. Really support the channel and lets me know that I should make more of these videos. Uh, if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button down below. I also do mod spotlights, and I'll see you next time.